So every so often, I feel like there's always something that comes along in the Overwatch community that just blows up for absolutely no reason whatsoever. And today I'm just here to talk about basically what happened with Kefri tweeting out a picture of an old bug related to a Mercy skin. Mercy's old Olympic Games costume or skin basically had a bug in the original Overwatch 1 that would cause it to phase through her body when she would glide towards somebody and it would show her bare cheeks, uh, her peach, her hams to uh, the general public. Um, and he just made a joke about it. And, uh, you know, the, a normal average person would think that it was funny. But for some reason, uh, there were those in the comments who felt the need to go out of their way to insult and attack him and kind of just blow things out of proportion. Um, and I was just wanted to talk about it kind of as like my first video on YouTube, just, I guess, putting my mind out there. So basically, he just tweeted out this picture here. And uh, when he did that, you can look through some of the comments and you'll see people who are blowing things out of proportion, basically saying that he's objectifying women or that he's a porn addict. Uh, some people were mentioning that he cheated on his wife. I have no knowledge of that personally. I don't exactly keep up with Kefri. It might be true. It might not be true. I have no idea. Ultimately, what it comes down to, though, is that this was just a joke. Uh, it's really not that serious. Um, and for people who are blowing it out of proportion, I think it's a really strange that people would take something that's obviously a joke and try to tie it into real life situations or real life issues. For example, the objectifying women thing. This is a video game. This is not a real person. So to pretend that because he is posting about what was a, a real bug at some point in Overwatch 1 and to try to bridge that as a, okay, he's making fun of a funny bug that, you know, obviously showed Mercy's ass to the world, and then compare that to women being objectified is a stretch. It really doesn't exactly make much sense. Maybe it does to you, but to your average person, it just doesn't, because you can't conflate the two. One is taking place in a virtual world made with pixels and a bunch of coding going on in the background. The other one is a real life issue that women face on a daily basis. And I'm just speaking on this as a man. I really, uh, you know, I've never seen women objectified in front of me, or maybe I have, and I just wasn't wise enough to notice it. Regardless though, when it comes to a video game character versus a real life woman, there is a pretty big difference and you can't conflate the two because women are women and video game characters are video game characters. Ultimately, a video game character doesn't need you to protect them. They're not real. They don't have feelings. They're not going to come out of the screen and say, thank you, random Twitter user for protecting me and my digital pixels. So to go out of your way to say that because he is objectifying a video game or an in-game character, that, that, that somehow translates to him objectifying real life women is I feel like kind of a stretch. I feel like it doesn't exactly make sense. You can sit back and you can kind of, you could try to bridge the two, but one is a, you know, obviously a real life problem. The other one is just a joke, maybe made amongst the fellow gaming community as, you know, again, just a joke. It really holds no, it doesn't hold water in comparison to some of the actual issues out there of people who do objectify women, of people who are addicted to porn, of people who, you know, really do, I guess, uh, you know, kind of pose a problem to society. Um, in terms of, you know, some people were saying like, oh, well, Kefri, you're 30 years old, da 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 This, this kind of humor is like shaming him for it, essentially. This kind of humor, Kefri, is just beside you beneath you as a 30 year old man you should not be laughing at these kind of things anymore but it's again it's just a joke comedy has no age limits so who, who cares you know realistically speaking who cares um i just i don't know i thought it was definitely strange to kind of see all the people um kind of freaking out it really paints a picture for you just how fragile the overwatch community is for some odd reason and i don't mean this about every member of the overwatch community some of us are just average joes who enjoy playing a game uh but it's essentially the always online overwatch community has just taken to the internet to kind of build a bad reputation for themselves in terms of you have the mercy mafia who throws a tantrum and you know, threatens to burn down Blizzard headquarters the moment a Mercy doesn't get a skin at the new season or it doesn't release when they want it to or, you know, some such like that. Um, but it always, it's, it's interesting to me how after kind of exiting Overwatch 
and uh, hanging up my Reaper cloak back in March of 2023, you know, kind of seeing things from the outside in. It's, it's interesting to see how the world kind of views Overwatch and its fans. And it's really kind of the, uh, the, uh, the black sheep of the gaming community, seeing all the people who are whiners and who are just chronically online and making mountains out of molehills and constantly building just a bad reputation uh, for what is otherwise a fantastic game. I did see this really long Twitter thread that I'm going to go ahead and try to find and post screenshots of, but essentially there was this creator who was pointing out how um, that she wishes people wouldn't make tweets like this. Uh, the reason being is because there are younger fans and uh, really just immature men overall who will see this and then it eventually translates into real life. And again, this kind of ties back into the point that I made earlier, which is if that's the case, then you need to punish these other people for their mistakes and not necessarily come after the creators for making jokes in the first place. If that's the case, almost any joke can be taken out of context or be used as motivation for something malicious. And then it puts us in a position where, okay, you know, now I can't, I can't do this. I can't say this because there's a possibility that somebody could take that and twist it and maybe paint a different message or use that as an excuse for nefarious purposes. It's not exactly fair to creators for us to have to limit ourselves because of the potential that somebody might use it for, for bad. Okay. And you need to be realistic with your expectations of what you want from us versus what you're going to do about people who objectify you. I think the creator said that she cosplays herself and it makes her feel uncomfortable that people will approach her and essentially call her derogatory names and things like that. And again, that comes up to you should always defend yourself. I'm not saying that she doesn't, but you should always defend yourself. You should, again, crucify these people for being bad people, for saying bad things, for being you know, rude to you. Ultimately, the problem isn't that these people are objectifying the characters. The problem is that these people are just bad people. They're just really shitty people. And I mean, if they're kids, it's a little bit different. Maybe they just don't know any better, but that doesn't exactly excuse their mistakes of deciding to objectify women or maybe just to be rude and derogatory to a girl that they see streaming or maybe cosplaying. I do want to point out, uh, I don't want it to sound like I'm making excuses for the younger audience or for these immature men. All I'm pointing out is that the creator, you know, if these people are treating her this way, she should obviously take actions to make sure that they suffer consequences for these. Realistically, these people shouldn't be doing this in the first place. They're just troublemakers and going out of their way to harass somebody else or anybody going out of their way to harass anybody is not cool, especially just because they dress up as a video game character that maybe you find attractive. I like Samus. I think a Samus, you know, IRL would be attractive, but that doesn't mean anytime I see somebody dressed up as Samus or I see a tall white woman with blonde hair and blue eyes that I automatically walk up and just start harassing her. It's not cool. It's not right. And realistically, you should not be doing that. And if you do, you should be punched in the face for it. But that was basically it. I just saw that on Twitter and I decided that this would be my first YouTube video and I just felt like I should share my thoughts or that I would want to share my thoughts. Um, but uh, that's basically it. See ya.